and maintaining current suboptimal health, disease, and illnesses, reduce health care costs, promote preventative over intrusive disease and illness management methods, and achieve lower mortality and lower morbidity outcomes. To achieve these high ideals, we have partnered with the University of the West Indies Health Economics Unit to design and implement a program that is supported by our citizens and residents, one that is sustainable technically and financially. The team is currently on the ground undertaking the task of engaging in all stakeholders, gathering data, preparing a plan, all geared towards recommending options to the Cabinet. For us in St. Kitts and Nevis, universal health coverage for all meets the high bar of a fundamental right in view of the fact that global political decisions about food, nutrition, and medication have had their direct adverse impact on global health. Nation states, therefore, must take the responsibility to ensure mitigation against the escalating health care costs and effects of such decisions, and should at every turn engage in influencing such decisions for the benefit of mankind. In St. Kitts and Nevis, universal health coverage will entail the provision of a package of essential health services that are accessible to all citizens across the life course for communicable and non-communicable diseases. We have sought partnership with our oldest ally, the Republic of China on Taiwan, to introduce a chronic disease program to address the growing needs of hemodialysis. That should result in the decreasing need for costly and intrusive responses to renal diseases. Universal health coverage necessitates an adequate health information system and recruitment of appropriate human resources to deliver quality health care services. Here again, our reliable ally Taiwan has already partnered with us in establishing the critical infrastructure that meets that objective. In that regard, I express my thanks to the Republic of China and Taiwan for providing us with the expertise as an experienced global partner in, in delivering universal health coverage to their citizens and residents. We look forward to their support, not only in our country, but in this global setting, if only because disease knows no borders. It is why I add my voice in support of the 23 million people of Taiwan being included in this global non-political partnership under the command of what is an otherwise august body. I call it inclusion over exclusion. My country needs and seeks significant resource support to bolster the core capacities to effectively respond to epidemics of indices, addictions, climate change, new and re-emerging infections, and chemical and radionuclear accidents. Key brokers in this regard include organizations such as the Caribbean Health Agency, CAFA, PANCAP, PAHO, and of course, the Global Fund, to whom we appeal for active support. Let me, though, place on record my country's profound appreciation for financial and other support provided by the people of the governments of the United States and Canada and the United Kingdom the European Union, Japan, Australia, Mexico, Brazil, and Argentina over many years. However, at this critical juncture, our needs to implement universal health coverage are more profound than ever at a time when demands on our scarce resources constrain us. We are not graduated from catastrophic disasters like those which wiped out Barbuda and crippled Dominica in 2017. In fact, in 2015, a deluge in Dominica ravaged, and a drought in St. Kitts reduced crop production by 20-32%. Two monsters of different character, but the same catastrophic result. We are not graduated. We are vulnerable and need your active support. I therefore conclude by pointing out that instituting universal health coverage in St. Kitts and Nevis require the sustained provision of targeted technical and other assistance. And I encourage WHO, through its partners PAHO and CAFA, to walk this journey with us. Help us build human and institutional capacity now, right now. Help us walk the talk. Ultimately, with your help, 
universal health coverage will reduce the burden of preventable illness and death and foster better health outcomes. Thank you.